Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand network layer services. So, in that, we are going to understand about routing and forwarding. So, one of the very important network layer service called packetizing has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, coming to this class, We'll try to understand what is routing and forwarding these are the these are the very very important services that are provided by the network layer and the design of the network layer is based upon the concerns of routing and forwarding so what is meant by routing network routing is the process of selecting a path across one or more networks so uh, let's try to understand this by using this uh, uh, this example this uh, diagram so here we are having having uh, uh, multiple networks are connected see here this is one network this is another network another network and another network so all these networks are interconnected whenever whenever we want to transfer the data from one network to another network another network we have to select the path so what that means is we have to select the path so which one is more efficient path which one is more uh, easiest small uh, sm uh, is the uh, smallest distance path so that path has to be identified and through that path the data has to be transmitted so that process of process of selecting the path across one or more networks is what we call it as routing you may not be able to understand just by uh, 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 telling the definition so we'll try to understand with an, with this example and next one is forwarding forwarding is an action action applied by each router when the packet arrives at one of its interface whenever the packet arrives at one of its interface so this is what we call it as this point is what we call it as interface this is interface interface means that is the junction where the network is connecting to the router so this interface so this is another interface 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 so whenever the packet is received so to which through which interface the packet has to be transmitted so that is what we call it as forwarding so the packet has to be forwarded through which interface it has to be forwarded that decision is made by using uh, that decision is what we call it as forwarding so let's try to understand so uh, by using this example what is routing and what is uh, uh, forwarding so here consider this as the world's internet so this this interconnection of routers is what we call it as internet internetworking okay so uh, now the entire world has been connected and this is our network now we want to so this is the system uh, example for example you consider this system as a and uh, uh, this system is searching for uh, computer network courses in google now where the google is located so how can we get the output for that request we have to go to the google server and that request has to be passed to the google server google server will do the processing and it will send the uh, uh, results of that particular search so where the uh, google server is located is it located uh, uh, is it directly so is this system directly connected to the google server by single line no so it has to pass the message through this network this network of systems so for example assume that this is the google server this is the destination b so the packet has to be transmitted the message has to be transmitted to b and there the processing has to be done and it has to be received back at the to the a now what are the challenges the challenges is which path has to be taken for example assume that these are the distances assume that these are 10 kilometers away both these routers the distance between these two routers is 10 kilometers it is not just for understanding and this is 9 kilometers 19 kilometers and assume that this is 1 kilometer 7 kilometers 2 kilometers and three kilometers and eight kilometers so, so these are the rough uh, numbers these are the numbers these are the distances between each and every router now which path has to be taken the packet has been received at this router whether it has to go through this 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 line which line it has to select 
so that is the job of routing algorithm so at each and every router each and every router will run some algorithms so there are different types of routing algorithms we will discuss them in the later section later videos so what is the job of the router in the sense it is a network layer uh, device so router is a network layer device so uh, this router is going to run some algorithms with that with that uh, wherever the destination address is there so the destination address is b and the source address is a assume that they are the addresses so in order to transmit the data from a to b what is the shortest path that shortest path uh, for identifying the shortest path the router will have a, uh, will run some algorithms and those algorithms will decide what is going to be the shortest path now with the general sense we will try to identify the shortest path so is it going to be the shortest path to transfer from this uh, router to this router the distance is 10 kilometers the other path is from here to here and by this way or this way but the best way is it is from here to here and this this way so and from there so it is going to take 9 plus 8 uh, it is uh, uh, 17 17 plus 3 20 kilometers it has to transmit and the other way is, is 1 2 3 1 2 3 means it is 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 kilometers what is the best path the best path is this one this one this one so this path is only to go to this router this end router to which the system is directly connected so where the b is connected the b is directly connected to this router whenever we have data to transmit to the systems which are connected to this router so then the shortest path is one two three which is six kilometers so if you go through this line it is going to take nine uh, ten kilometers and through this it is going to take 20 kilometers if you go through this it is going to take another uh, 28 kilometers okay so the best path is this one so that that identifying the best paths is what we call it as routing now now what is meant by forwarding so based upon the routing algorithms we know that this is the best path but uh, the output of the routing algorithms is going to generate a table called a forwarding table or routing table so what happens every router will run the routing algorithms uh, the output the uh, for for uh, for every algorithm that is being executed we will get some output right so the output is going to be the forwarding table or routing tables so what that routing table consists of is for example uh, if you want to transmit the data to b if you want to transmit the data to B, so for example, assume that this is the forwarding table or routing table. So we can use it interchangeably. So that is the source is from A. Whenever the data is received from A and it want to transmit the data to B, data to B, so uh, then, then it has to transmit it through this interface through this interface for example if you take that this is interface 1 this is interface 2 and this is interface 3 so what this for, uh, forwarding uh, routing table consists of is so it, it is going to have the source address and destination address source address is a and destination address is b the b is connected to this router so whenever we want to transmit the data from a to b if the data is received from a and it has to transmit the data to b then it has to take interface i1 this is what what the forwarding table is to transmit the data uh, from uh, A to B it has to take I1 okay so the data will get transmitted here here in order to transmit for example if this is I1 this is I2 and this is I3 if the if the data is received from I1 and it has to transmit it to B then it has to go through this I3 
okay so that forwarding table will be there on this routing table uh, on this router every router will create its own forwarding table or routing table that routing or forwarding table is generated by using route route uh, routing algorithms we will try to understand about the different routing algorithms in our later classes this is what the concern of the routing and the forwarding is what we call it what are the concerns or the services that that are provided by network layer so this point is very important understanding routing algorithms is uh, uh, is comparatively easy uh, if you understand the base point of routing and the use of the services that are required by the network layer which is routing and forwarding so this point is very important to understand hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching